A few weeks ago, I decided that instead of doing my university assignments, I would instead spend my time making cartoon planets in Blender. This tutorial is going to show you how to make some procedural procrastination planets, like this, 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 or these. Keep in mind that I am in no way a professional in Blender. In fact, if you're watching this tutorial for the first time, I probably know two minutes more than you. Open up a new Blender file and CG matter the default cube. Add an icosphere. You can also use a UV sphere if you want it to look bad. Make your icosphere HD. Make it orange. Copy and paste it a few times. Now hide your mistakes. Create a new material. Make it kind of grassy. Make sure you can see it by switching to the rendered view. Make it a little more grassy. You'll want to use cycles for this tutorial. Change the displacement to displacement and bump. Head over to the shading workspace. Add a noise texture. Add a displacement node. Hook the f into the mid level and scale sockets. Hook up the displacement to the displacement. To see the damage, switch over to the rendered view. Unhide one of your other icospheres. This will be the water. Give it a material. Uh, water. Add some nodes to make it look a bit more watery. I'm not sure what I'm doing, so you can just mess around yourself. If you want your water to look a bit more wavy, consider adding a noise texture or a Voronoi texture. Feel free to customize anything you see in this tutorial. Be sure to shade your planet as smooth, unless your icosphere is very high quality. Finally, we're adding the atmosphere. Scale it up to cover your planet. Head into the shading workspace and create a new material. Oh, but not that type. Delete that and instead create an emission node. Change the color to a sky color. Plug that into the volume input. Bang, atmosphere. Now just make it less intense. And your planet's done. Now you can make a little render of your planet. Alternatively, you can create a number of different planets, such as this water planet, created with a small rock in the center and water everywhere else. Or if the first planet looked a little too cartoony, you can create a slightly more realistic one by plugging in the noise texture to only the scale. To create a Minecraft world, use a cube and subdivide it. And to create the true world, create a plane and subdivide that.